What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You wanted to be in the game, right? Now you're in the game. Being talked into trucking. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. I feel like a lot of guys who's new in trucking, uh, they put all of their faith into these companies and they feel like everything that the companies is telling them is factual truth. Like, I feel like they can talk you almost into anything. Uh, a lot of companies like to talk you into the Family Dollar account, the Dollar General account, when you first come into trucking because they know a lot of you guys are gonna say yes. A lot of you guys are like, yes, man, when you first come into the trucking. Anything that these companies tell you is good for you, you're gonna say yes, you're gonna do it. So I feel like a lot of companies use that to their advantage. Like one point I wanna make, let's be honest, a lot of companies know that the drivers that come into trucking, they need money. So what they would do, they would take a account that someone who's been in trucking for some years would not do, but they'll take that same account and offer it to the new upcoming drivers because they know that they're gonna say yes. All they gotta do is what? Dangle this money over your head. Hey, here's $1,800 a week for you to do this family dollar account. There's people who've been in trucking for 10 plus years will not touch that family dollar account, dollar general account at all because they know the risk that it takes. And this is not a negative video. This video is simply to shine light on some things. Uh, there's been so many drivers hit me up about this family dollar, dollar general and how they lost their CDL due to the same reason. Just imagine you getting your CDL and they throwing you out there to go do a family dollar, dollar general account. And you get there and you realize, oh, I have to blindside back into this dock right here or to this door right here. Well, let's take it from there, man. I talked about the dollar accounts all the time. And I always say how not to get involved with them. I keep telling y'all. <laughs> I keep telling y'all. See, y'all, y'all not listening. Y'all, y'all not listening. Y'all getting talked in. Just like this young man said, you, you guys are are yes men to these uh, mega carriers that needs drivers for these dollar accounts. Number one, you don't get paid much. That that fifteen hundred, that eighteen hundred dollars. A, a, a week to do back breaking work and drive at the same time well not at the same time but back breaking work and drive for fifteen hundred dollars have you guys seen the way they load them those those trailers those trucks now don't get me wrong some of them they they put them on these little roller carts you able you got one of them lift gates you bring it up to the lift gate let it down and just roll it right into the stores but that's not the case at some of these places some of these dollar accounts are at the worst locations that you can freaking imagine some of them are in narrow plazas that you literally gonna have to finagle your way in some of these dollar accounts is in like neighborhoods where a 53 foot truck tractor trailer is not really supposed to be down but it's up under the exception because of uh because it's a dollar store right there on that corner take my area for example there's a family dollar right there on on eddie road in st Clair, right the only way the only way to get in if you're coming off of st Clair, you can't you you can't make that left you can't make that right turn on uh on the eddy road and then make that left turn into the into the parking lot of that of that dollar uh that family dollar no you're gonna have to either go all the way down to 72nd or you have to come or you have if you coming up st Clair, you have to go all the way down to 140th then you're gonna have to get on the highway then you're gonna have to come off the highway at eddie road come down eddie road and then make that right into the into the driveway and finagle now to get out of there to get out of there 
you literally literally have to go over the sidewalk to get back on St. Clair, either left or right. That's crazy. They don't tell you about that though. They don't tell you. And before I get on up out of here with my thoughts, he's a, he's absolutely right. They do talk you. They they talk good game. They talk so much good game that you have no choice but to say yes. When they hit you with that 1500, 1800 right off the rip, they know you broke. And they know that you're gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna take that. They they put so much cream on what they talking about that you 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 gonna have no choice but to say yes, sign me up. You can get a workout, you can get two, you can get 15, 1600. You can you you can get this, you can get that. You could be off on the weekends. I keep telling you guys about the dollar account. Y'all don't listen. But I, I now he said that he talked to some people that actually lost their license. I'm not sure how is that possible. But you can lose your career because again, these places be in some of the most obscure places that if you tear up a building, that's it. You're done with that company. Think about it when you get your license and get with these mega carriers and they start talking about the one account that you can actually make money on. Come back and think about this video. Who is that DJ like that?